Greetings, everyone. Today, we delve into the intricate web of deception spun by brokerage firms and trading platforms, concealing customer complaints and manipulating the system. It's a concerning reality that these complaints are not only suppressed by the brokers, but even expunged by FINRA at the broker's request without engaging with the investors who raise those concerns. This is nothing short of alarming. Hey, welcome to AMC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember this is not a financial advice video. Suzanne Trimbath brought this issue to light, emphasizing that a clean broker check report doesn't necessarily imply an absence of customer complaints. Shockingly, FINRA removes these complaints from public view based on brokers' requests without adequately investigating the grievances raised by the customers. In fact, a report in 2021 revealed a significant rise in expungements by FINRA, escalating from 59 in 2015 to a staggering 700 between August 2019 and October 2021. Astonishingly, these expungements encompassed 1360 customer complaints, and many of these complaints were lodged against the same broker by different customers. This information is disheartening, considering that FINRA chose to sweep these issues under the rug instead of addressing them and taking appropriate action. A legal blog from a law firm shed light on how FINRA conveniently erases records from broker check giving an incomplete picture to investors researching their broker's history. Many investors are unaware that broker checks information can be flawed, as brokers have the ability to expunge complaints from their records. While it's understandable for brokers to seek the removal of baseless complaints, what's concerning is that FINRA fails to investigate the legitimacy of these complaints. They choose to expunge records a staggering 90% of the time without conducting a thorough inquiry into whether the complaint has merit. This raises serious questions about the efficacy of the oversight and the impartiality of the system. In the year 2023, a proposal has been approved to make it more challenging for FINRA to expunge these records. This development, however, brings to light several issues. Firstly, why did it take so long for such measures to be enacted? Has FINRA been failing in its fundamental duties? Secondly, this approval prompted a rush among brokers to expunge their records before the new rules could take effect. Consequently, previous complaints have vanished from the system. Thirdly, while it is now more difficult to expunge records, brokers can still request expungements from FINRA. It's disheartening to witness an instance where FINRA appears to be favoring market makers, trading platforms, and brokers, aiding them in expunging their records of any wrongdoing. This leads us to another concerning aspect, the looming question of whether the ongoing lawsuit filed by Mullen against TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, and other brokers will result in record expungements once again. Will they merely face minimal fines and reprimands? only to have their records expunged and continue business as usual. One can only hope that this lawsuit sets a precedent and these brokers and trading platforms are held accountable, preventing them from participating in the creation of synthetic shorts and market manipulation. Suzanne Trimbath has aptly highlighted the need to curb synthetic shoring by suspending and closing accounts of brokers who consistently fail to deliver. It's disconcerting to note that major financial entities like J.P. Morgan Chase, Bank of America, and Goldman Sachs have recently been slapped with a $53 million fine for failing to accurately report millions of derivative transactions. This goes beyond mere oversight. It points to significant failures in swap data reporting and mid-market marks, underscoring the extent of market manipulation. Goldman Sachs, a behemoth in the financial world, with its immense resources and expertise, was found guilty of more than a million instances since 2013 where they inaccurately reported swap data. These are deliberate actions, not inadvertent mistakes. The subsequent minor fines imposed seem inadequate in proportion to the gravity of these actions. 
It's yet another instance where regulatory bodies like FINRA, the SEC, and the DTCC are falling short in safeguarding the interests of the American public. Of course, this manipulation wouldn't be complete without the complicity of the mainstream media. Dade Murphy aptly summarized how the mainstream media actively steered investors away from GameStop and AMC, promoting investments in Bed Bath & Beyond, a move that ultimately favored short sellers. Investors were misled into believing that Bed Bath & Beyond was fundamentally stronger than other mean stocks like AMC and GameStop. However, the truth unraveled as Bed Bath & Beyond plummeted into bankruptcy, leaving investors in dismay. How many individuals were misled into making poor investment decisions, selling their shares in GameStop and AMC for a worthless company like Bed Bath & Beyond? It's essential to highlight the lack of accountability in mainstream media companies that not only misguide investors, but also potentially contribute to financial losses. Despite this, the majority of the investor community, aptly referred to as apes, have held their ground and remained resilient. However, certain companies and CEOs, like those associated with AMC, are fighting back against this manipulation. In recent news, Taylor Swift's Eras Tour is projected to achieve a groundbreaking global opening, potentially surpassing $200 million. This is a staggering figure, considering that even the highly successful Avatar, The Way of Water, reached $134 million at the box office. It's a testament to the enduring power of the entertainment industry and its potential to rival even the biggest blockbusters. In conclusion, the issues discussed today shed light on a system that requires urgent reform and greater transparency. The alarming practices within brokerage firms, trading platforms, and regulatory bodies like FINRA underscore a dire need for a more accountable and investor-centric approach. The ease with which customer complaints can be erased without due investigation raises questions about the integrity and fairness of the financial industry. The recent approval of a proposal in 2023 to make it more challenging to expunge records is a step in the right direction, but it's only the beginning. More stringent measures are necessary to ensure that brokers and trading platforms are held accountable for their actions and that the interests of investors are protected. Moreover, the role of mainstream media in influencing investment decisions is a matter of great concern. The manipulation and misinformation perpetrated by media outlets underscore the need for a more responsible and ethical approach to financial reporting. Investors deserve accurate, unbiased information that helps them make informed decisions for their financial well-being. As we move forward, it is crucial for both investors and regulatory bodies to collaborate, pushing for comprehensive reforms that prioritize transparency, accountability, and fairness within the financial sector. By advocating for a system that upholds the interests of investors and maintains market integrity, we can pave the way for a more just and equitable financial landscape. Only through collective effort and persistent vigilance can we hope to achieve a system where the rights and interests of every investor are safeguarded and where the markets operate with utmost integrity. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about AMC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.